the other piece I think that's uh, so interesting is we really did have these three industry organizations, NCTA bringing the programming, the teams together and the regulatory, Cable Labs where we would start to develop these and then the SCTE where we would actually yeah, put them into standards yeah. and uh, take them to market. I think those three worked well together. Yeah, and, and, and they continue to, yeah. so it's, it's good. And what I saw, because I was the chair of Cable Labs, I think for its first 20 years or something, yeah. it was our opportunity to take the CEOs of the major companies yep. and, and uh, marinate them in technology. That, that's a really good, uh, good way of putting it. Yeah. So we were able to get, uh, get even the young Brian Roberts off to Japan yeah, that's right. <laughs> to uh, go through the labs uh, of Sony and, and uh, Mishusta and so on, so that, so that the industry uh, had a common view of, of what technologies were coming and why it was going to be important to, uh, to be involved. And of course, one of the biggest fights, Tony, we had was about the standards for high definition. Right. And how that was going to turn out was going to be critical for our industry and how our industry evolved. And the Japanese had gone a long way, had built plants and everything with a high def analog standard. And I think there were some of us that believed that that was going off, that was going to be a dead end yep. left turn. Yep. Plus it wasn't going to be very good for our balance of trade. <laughs> exactly. And, uh, and we fought hard and ultimately got the FCC to agree to a digital high definition standard. Then we had a little arm wrestling with the broadcast industry to make it one that's <laughs> cable friendly. <laughs> but uh, but those, are, those are the kind of things that, that these three organizations working together were able to deliver the goods and implement uh, that kind of got us where we are now.